not only in this tournament, but overall this year to knock down open threes. He's a guy, if you haven't seen him, they run a lot of offense through him, very comfortable at the high post. There is Rui Hachimura, a sophomore from Japan. Is a great athlete, and he's coming off the bench. He's one of the heirs apparent at Gonzaga, and they expect big things out of him, but Mark Few wants him to earn it, and he's going to have to earn it by coming off the bench, and Billy playing behind the likes of Karnowski and Collins and others last year. Much bigger factor this year. How about the freshman Kisper finishing strong? Goes right into the chest of a shot blocker, knocks him back, and kept his eyes on the... Right into his chest. Wow. Norvell and the lefty knocks down to three and they just keep on running. It's an 18 to nothing run right now for the Zags. Yeah. It is a 23 to nothing run for the Zags. Turnovers. Gonzaga all the way to the national championship game a year ago. Picked second in the West Coast Conference this year behind St. Mary's. Another one goes down. Off balance three for Perkins who was pleading for a foul as well. Here in the Pacific Northwest, and they've got a 13 point. Not going to have a chance for an offensive rebound. Roach one on one with Larson, and Bamba slams it home just before the, the buzzer. So a much needed bucket for the Longhorns, who struggled offensively for most of the half, but the dunk by Bamba makes it a 14 point game at halftime. Well, fortunately for. Gave Bamba an opportunity to dunk that thing in. I think it came well before the buzzer. But it was awfully close. And he got it, yep. he got it through there, so that's gonna count. But Mark Few Zags are still up by 14 despite this bucket. Coach Few is with Jeff Goodman. The options, but he went right into a charge. I think that's the second charge that Melson has stepped in to take in this game. Again, the two-man game between Perkins and Hachimura. Of the ball movement that you have from this Gonzaga team. Then into the ball screen, you've got side to side movement of the ball, and there's some misdirection. So the ball goes out of one ball screen into another on the other side. Not the Christmas pass that you'd want to see, but has 16 of Gonzaga's last 21 points. Kispert might get a couple right here. Lays it in with a left hand. Nice reverse. That guy's just a freshman. I mean, he plays like a senior because they were the unanimous pick to be first. Every coach voted for the Gales at number one. And he said, listen, I understand we lost a lot, but we're Gonzaga. We're getting disrespected here. Ooh, oh, got the heel of his shoe caught in the jersey of the Texas defender and then hit the floor hard. That's not, that's not something you see every day. Wow. That looked like uh, the kind of credit to Duke for that great comeback, but Texas helped them a bit. Jones knocks down a three, and the Longhorns slowly but surely creeping back into it. Mark Few not so happy. He's going to use a timeout with five, down 11 with 5.20 to go. Gonzaga needs to do a better job of attacking this. Oh, Sitkowski with a steal and a lay, and it's down to nine. Gonzaga's catching this, the, the ball in bad spots where they can get trapped and they can give that ball up. They've got to be much stronger. Another turnover, and Osikowski heading to the free throw line. Here comes some havoc. Mark Few. You know, in a way, they've been a little bit too calm. Picking your dribble up and trying to get around a bigger guy gets it knocked away. And this is just a poor pass. Anytime, you know, you can run the baseline there and trying to make that pass diagonally. Williams, his fourth. So he's out there with four for the Zags. Osidkowski playing with four for the Horns. This is where a team like Gonzaga, with their experience, needs to execute toward the end of a game. Great role replace that. That's it. Tilly knocks down a big three. Ball screen out front by Jonathan Williams. The hard roll to the basket. And Killian Tilly, a big guy replace this ball screen action so the ball screen out top and the roll 
And then Killian Tilly comes up from the baseline. Dylan Osadkowski couldn't get there in time because he's worried about picking up the role. He helped with the role and helped Mo Bamba. Then he couldn't get out to the shooter and Killian Tilly. And five to shoot. Williams bounce pass inside. Got it back. Rejected by Bamba. With one on the shot. Nelson knocks it down. After this block, an excellent block. He got it off. Yeah. Well, boy, was that close. He didn't clip his fingernails this morning. That could have been a problem. <laughs> Broken play after the block and the deflection, and good awareness there by Melson to realize there was only one choice he had. Wait, how about the poise of Silas Melson not to rush that? Because that, that's got to be. Three point game, seven seconds to go. And Perkins oh. trying to throw the home run, throws it away to tie it. Goals! Unbelievable! Texas ties it. Mel you can get. And how about the play by Andrew Jones against the 2 3 zone, able to knock it in. And then you got Mo Bamba on the ball with that 7 9 wingspan. And Trying to throw, running away from your intended receiver in football, basketball. That's a, that's as bad of a play as you can have. But give credit to Texas. What an amazing comeback by Texas. That's a, that's not a, not a good pass at all. And a great, God, what a great shot when you've got two defenders running at you. Jay, Texas outscored Gonzaga 15 to four in the last two minutes and 58 seconds of the game. They got five points in the last 10 seconds to force overtime. And it was the full court pressure of Texas. Yeah. You give all you give a tremendous amount of credit for Texas for bringing the heat. But also if you're if you're looking at it from Gonzaga's perspective Gonzaga did not handle pressure well at all. Off. Bamba lost it. I don't know what he's doing there. Two on one. Williams has fouled as well. Boy, Bamba lost the ball at one end and committed a foul he shouldn't have at the other end. Well, that's a, that's just a freshman sequence. Mo below his waist like he's going to make a jab step and move, and it was just knocked away by Jonathan Williams. And then on the other end, a guy with a 7'9 wingspan decides to reach down low by a guy's knees instead of going up and trying to block it or challenge a shot up top. Tipped away by Nelson, what a play! And the Zags are gonna win it! That was a fantastic closeout by Killian Tilly. To the Zags. Well, Tilly did such a good job of closing out and then forcing the dribble, taking away the three. And that forcing that dribble is what helped allow Silas Melson to shoot that gap and take it the other way. But Tilly did such a such a smart play to take away the three. That's the one thing that could really hurt you. Give up a two.